Hi everyone, this is Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today is a short video on the Cricut Design Space Weld feature that will show you not only how to weld multiple layers, objects, or texts, but also how this feature can save you time. So if you haven't downloaded my free cheat sheet yet, please do because it will help you figure out everything you need to know about all the Cricut Design Space functions that are right here. So I'm talking about Slice, Weld, Attach, Flatten. I want to show you how to weld and I went in Cricut Access and got this little snowflake that I want to replicate. So this snowflake is pretty simple to make. So if you see, I already done this using the diamond shape and the rectangle, the square. So the square is right here. And what I'm about to do is I want to do the circles, the circle at the end of the squares, the rectangle. So I'm going to scale them. And what I usually do to do that, just a little trick while I'm at it, is just to go over the original shape and try to mimic it as closely as possible. So what I want to do is add a circle here and add another circle at the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate it. And my point here is to show you that if I only do it like that and I hit make it, it's all going to be separated. So you know, or maybe you don't, but you should know that if you want everything to stay on the Canva as it is, you need to attach it. In that case, if I attach it, it will stay exactly as it is but Cricut will cut the circle and then will cut the rectangle. So let me go closer to show you. You can clearly see here the circle and the rectangle. If I put the circle behind, let's move it back to the back, send to back, you're gonna see the rectangle is right here. So what your Cricut is going to do, it's going to cut the circle and then it's going to cut the rectangle inside of the circle. That's not really what we want. So that's why weld is really useful for this. And if you know me before welding, what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to center everything. So I'm going to select the three of them. I'm going to align and center horizontally to make sure they are perfectly centered. And I'm going to weld. So you see now no more little lines. It's all one shape. And if you notice in the layer panel, it's not three layers anymore. It's only one layer. So that's what it does. It says weld results. You can weld as many layers as you want, as long as you have more than one. So of course, if I click on this one and I want to weld this alone, there's no purpose to that. So that's why the weld is grayed out. You need to select more than one layer to be able to weld. Another thing that is pretty cool is that you can weld objects that are not touching. So what's the purpose you're going to tell me? Because let's say that I'm finished with the snowflake and I want to cut it. Well, I could attach it. You're right. This is absolutely true. You could attach everything and cut it and it will cut exactly that way. But let's say I want to cut this in another shape. Let's draw a circle. Let's say I'm making a wood ornament or something. And I want to cut this into the shape. Let me change the color so you see it better. So let's say I want to slice this shape into the background shape. I'm going to select holding the shift key, all the diamond shapes. And I want to slice them in this big circle. So I'm going to select the circle too. But slice is still grayed out. That's because you can only slice two layers at once. So that's when weld is pretty useful. So what I'm going to do instead of attach, I'm going to select all of my uh, ornament and my this one too, and I'm going to weld them. As I said, when you weld something, it will be on one layer as a weld result. So now I'll be able to slice. So using weld and using my basic shape, I'll be able to slice it and have a result. Let me remove this of a beautiful ornament with holes in it. Another thing I want to show you is how to use weld with text. Now if I go into text, now this font is called Emmeline. Emmeline is um, not a Kern font. If you don't know what Kern fonts are, I'm going to link to a video about this, but this is a new feature in Design Space that if you want to know, you just go over this little eye and it says that it will display only fonts with optimal spacing between each letter. So if I click on this, Emmeline doesn't appear and you'll have all the fonts that when you type them, let me try this, I'll write bonjour again. So when you type them, they are already attached as a script letters, but there are still some 
fonts like Emmeline, the one I wrote right here, that is not a current font. So if I uncheck this and I write Emmeline, that's a font that I really love. And I write bonjour, you'll see how it goes. So this is what you have. So we need to go back to the basic of design space, what we used to do when we didn't have the current font options. That means going right here to advance and ungroup two letters and then move every letter to try to make a attach word, a script word. So what we used to do with this, of course, we needed to weld because if we were not using weld with these kinds of letters, let me change it color so you see it better. I like to use the pink one. You can easily see that your Cricut is going to make a cut here. It's going to make another cut here. It's going to cut right here and right here. So that's not really good. <laughs> you don't want that. So when we didn't have any current font, we needed to weld. And we still do with this font, with Emmeline font. What happens when you weld, sometimes it looks good that way. It's perfect. Everything is fine. But other times you just go ahead and this one is not welded in case you you're wondering, you see it's still not welded, you want to weld them, this happens. So this is a bug in design space that for a reason it fills out the letters. If something like, like this happens to you, you see it didn't happen to me here, but it did happen here. Sometimes it's because the letters are too close together, although they seem perfectly fine. So let me undo because there's no way to unweld anything, so you'll need to undo. And let's go close and you're gonna see it seems perfect like this but sometimes what you'll need to do and I'll just ungroup this you will need to just move it just a little bit sometimes you can use your arrow key but arrow key will move it maybe just too much so if I go back I did move it a bit then I'm gonna select it all again I'm gonna weld and now it's fine so you see if that happens to you just move the letters apart just a little bit and everything will be fine don't forget to download my free cheat sheet. The link is at the bottom of this video. And the next function on this cheat sheet is the slice function. So check out this next video that will explain to you everything you need to know about slice.